So you want to have your RTX 4070 run at more FPS with lower power consumption, lower temperature and getting rid of that annoying coil whine? Well, this is the right video for you and we will get straight into it without wasting any time. The only thing I'm going to tell you is there are two methods of applying the curve, okay? The values are the same, but there are two methods. So if you want to know why we are doing this method specifically, go watch my RTX 4090 undervolting tutorial and I explain in depth why this is the best method. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for the tutorial you will need MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark. Now both of them will be down below in the description so you can just go ahead and download them. Now what we want to do is open up Heaven Benchmark, uncheck the full screen option, set everything to the maximum right here and then start it. At this point, you want to open up Afterburner right here in overlay. Okay. And now we can actually start the tutorial. So I will give you guys two different presets. Okay. So the first preset is going to be the one I do recommend the most, and it's going to be basically the same exact performance as stock, slightly more in 1% low, but with much less temperature, much less power consumption, and overall much better noise. This might also fix your coil wine. Then the second Second one will be if you just want performance and you want to increase your FPS. Let's get started. So first step, first thing you want to do is go over on settings and enable voltage control and voltage monitoring. Hit OK, hit apply and here we are. At this point you want to go over here and just unlock the power limit and temperature limit. This is optional, so if your car doesn't let you do this, is fine. Now you want to click on the curve editor right here and your curve will come out. Now what you want to do is you want to go find the 900 millivolt voltage point. Find it right here and now holding shift, left click it and bring it up until on the left we find 25 50. It doesn't have to be exactly 2550, it can be 2551 for example, but we need it to be there. Okay, right here. So as you can see, we now have the curve lifted up. At this point, you want to hold shift again and click on the void between the 900 millivolt voltage point and the right utmost voltage point. So right there. And then drag the curve all the way to the right exactly like that. Now you want to grab this whole thing and just bring it all the way down. You just need to left click, no need to shift it and bring it all the way down. Okay. At this point you want to go on afterburner again, right here and simply hit apply. And as you can see, the curve will flatten out right there. And our GPU is running all the time at 900 millivolt 2550 and we can see that directly here as you can see so this is how you set the actual voltage point but we can also give it a, a little bit of extra love on the memory so what i do recommend for most people is doing plus 1000 and then hitting apply and this will be perfect but if you want to be extra safe on the memory go plus 800. 800 will work on every car. This is gonna give you some extra performance as well. This is the first preset. If you wanna keep it, be sure to save it, enable it, and enable Afterburner to start with Windows and to run minimized right there. Now we can reset it and go ahead with the second preset. So here is the second preset. So it's basically the same process. The only difference is gonna be that we are starting with 950 millivolt this time, okay? So let's grab the 950 millivolt point and we want to bring it to 2750. Okay, so hold the shift, left click on it, left 2750, 2744 in my case. Now we want to again select the part on the right with shift, bring it all the way down, go back on afterburner, hit apply and our curve will be flattened out at a higher core clock for more performance. At this point, again, you wanna unlock the power limit and temperature limit for the maximum possible performance, and you wanna give it a nice plus 1000 or plus 800, and hit apply there as well, right there. And the undervolting is done. So please try it out, let me know how it goes, and for any questions, I will be down below in the comments. I have more tutorials, for CPU undervolting and GPU undervolting on the channel, as well as some budget builds. If this really helped, 
please drop a like and a sub. It really helps the channel. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.